how to perform the Solarplex release. So in the first video, you've seen that with Constance, I'm the manual therapist and I've done that. So if you're working with one of our trainers, they can help you do that. One of the challenges, that's a lot of time and if you're getting a manual therapist to do it, it's a lot of money because you're getting it done every day. That's gonna be a cost. So this is how you can do it yourself. You can get, like you can buy a kettlebell, uh, eight, 12 or 16 kilos, and this is what you can do on your own. So we got Petra, yay! Um, working on this one. So with Petra, we're actually going to have the kettlebell at a slight angle. Now with this, um, you want to feel where your rib cage is. So Petra's rib cage is here, not there. So if you're putting it on the bone, it's not going to release. So we actually want an angle to go slightly down and she's going to hold it to regulate the weight. If she wants to push down more, she can increase the tension. If she wants to ease it off, having a bit of a bad day, feeling tight, she can ease it off. So you can work on this at your own pace. Now, the key here is to take nice deep breaths down into your stomach. So breathe in as deep as you can. You'll see it lifts up. You wanna hold the tension there, then exhale, go deeper. Once you've done this for about three to five minutes, the kettlebell is already on the second point and you'll lower it into there. <laughs> so that's in the second point. So that's just above the belly button. So that's where we're working into that. So if you're noticing you've got tightness in your hip flexors, this is where you can go to. So with the hip flexor, so we're gonna take this off. Pitch is gonna to point to the belly button two fingers from the belly button, so right there, two fingers across, and there's the hip flexor. You'll know it when you find it. <laughs> now, Petra started with bent knees, because that brings the hip flexor into a shortened position. Then from there, we're gonna lengthen the leg out as much as we can, and we'll feel more tension. Then we bring it back up. Now, you can do the other leg, it's not gonna do much. You wanna actually work on the leg that the kettlebell's on. <laughs> oh, this feels so good! <laughs> So work with the leg that you're looking at restriction. Now, you may notice that the leg only goes maybe halfway. And you're like, oh, then you just bring it back. Then go again. And you work that range, okay? So you can progress and regress this option as much as you need. Again, each side doing like five minutes. So in total, you should be doing about 10 minutes on this. Um, five minutes if you don't have much time. But think, if you can now breathe deeper, what's that gonna do for your body? You're going to expand the ribs, you're going to be able to lengthen your spine, which will make you more stable, which will improve your ability to lift heavier weights, it'll improve your ability to press overhead. So make sure when you're warming up, take the time to actually take nice deep breaths so you can get more out of your body. And that's a solar plex release. See you later and enjoy. Yeah.